الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه نحمد تعالى ونستعينه ونستغفر الله ونتوب إليه عبد في الله in a beautiful narration of the Salaf about the importance of bir and taqwa of being pious and God-fearing. قال سليمان ابن عبد الله ابن عبد مالك ابن عبد مالك يا أبا هازم أي عباد الله أكرم قال أهل البر وتقوى أحبتي في الله in this narration of the Salaf one of the Salaf of this Ummah Suleiman ibn Abdul Malik he said he said O father of Hazm which servant of Allah is the most uh, honored he said the people of bitter wa taqwa, the people of piety or righteousness and God fearfulness. Ahabatifillah, there's honor in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's something we have to remind ourselves. Remind ourselves about and remind our brothers and sisters because sometimes we want to imitate other people and we forget about the honor that we already have by being a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not necessary to honor to shave the beard. But even if the beard, maybe it's not all as neat as we'd like. Maybe some hairs are longer than others. Maybe we thought we'd look better with the goatee. But a habatifillah, by growing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not for the sake of an image, but for the sake of Allah azza wa jal, is more honorable. And we thought that we looked more beautiful with our hair long, our bangs hanging out, our hair curly or what have you, and uh, in, in being out in public. But in fact, the honor was with the one who covered her what she was ordered to cover. She covered all of her, her beauty. And why? For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So be of those who are most honored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with ibadah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.